<laughs> did everyone have a good Halloween yesterday? <laughs> no, I did. I had a good Halloween. Oh, my dog. How are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. My dog's being a spaz. Excuse the disaster of my hair today. It's quite, quite crazy. Quite crazy. Oh. Oh, my window's slightly open, so <laughs> it's like bringing in light. <laughs> it's really bright outside. Sorry, my cat. What are you doing? My pets are just being chaos today. But anyway, we are continuing Persona 5 Real. We are officially as far as I've ever been. Like, from the original anyway, when I played the original back when it first came out. So, um, yeah, all new stuff. <laughs> All new stuff. I'm excited. Uh, we're gonna see about this Madarame guy that is gonna most likely be our next palace. See what kind of corrupt bullshit he's doing. <laughs> and uh, maybe get more characters. We've seen Maka- What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Again, the- Oh gosh, the animals are just chaos. Um. Uh... What was I gonna say? My brain? My brain? Oh yes, we've uh, met Makoto. Hello, Aries! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> uh, we've met Makoto and she's investigating. <laughs> Hacken? A big Hackens! <laughs> oh no, the thing, hang on. Let me put that in front of my- there we go. <laughs> Hacken! <laughs> um, so yes, uh... I know Makoto eventually joins our side, but I have yet to see how that's gonna happen, so we shall see. <laughs> Aries, your girl is investigating us, and I do not approve. <laughs> she being real sassy. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get into it. Whoosh. Wait, where am I? There I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My little avatar always takes a second to show up. Yes, yeah, so, um, we were in Mementos yesterday and got stuck in there because I kept trying to find, uh, Jose and couldn't find him. <laughs> That's how it starts, yeah. <laughs> Makoto being sassy. <laughs> um, let's see what Ryuji wants. What are you doing right now? I'm still hanging out in the hallway. Let me know if something comes up. Okay. Ryuji hasn't gone. Uh, not yet. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Let me see all my options. <laughs> hey, I came up with a method of strengthening my heart. But it's kind of hard to do it by myself. Will you train with me? I feel like my bond with Anna will go stronger soon. Ooh. <laughs> Makoto's my wife. <laughs> she cute. I feel like... Is her voice actor the same uh, as Lucy Hartphilia from Fairy Tale? Because it sounds like it when I hear her. Um, I could be wrong, though. Uh, okay, so On could level up her confidant if I hang out with her, but hang on. <laughs> Just hang on. I don't know what I want to do. I know I'm not going back in Mementos today, because fuck that. <laughs> I got stuck in there because I didn't know how to find Jose, and I had so many flowers, and I didn't want them to go to waste. These the things Mr. Kamishiba did. He's completely awful. It is for the same as Lucy. Okay, I, I figured. I heard her I was like, mm, sounds like Lucy. <laughs> also, Gage from Borderlands 2. My favorite, well, my favorite character is Tiny Tina, but my favorite character to play in Borderlands 2 is Gage. And uh, that voice actress voices her as well. Quite funny. Okay, uh, so we can hang out with On. Or let's see. Mm. <laughs> yes, exactly, Cairo. Mm. <laughs> uh, sure, we'll hang out with On. Um, since she can level up, we might as well, right? Right? <laughs> All right. Thanks. We'll be going to Inokashira Park. It's really big. Oh, sorry, my eyes are all weird. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. I couldn't read it. 
Well, let's meet up in Shibuya and head over together. Okay. Oh? Ooh. Flourishing with natural beauty, the, per the this park is the pride of Kichi Joji. It looks. Oh, well, this, this is just a dog line. Get away from the stress of city life. Couples often ride in boats in the pond. I. On. All right. I don't think of you like that, so hopefully. <laughs> Like it like I, I went too fast. I didn't read the first part. Okay. There are a number of hangout spots in the city, such as shops, event venues, landmarks, and so on. Confidants will each have their own favorite hangout spot. If you go there with them, your bond will grow even deeper than it normally would. Ooh. You can learn about hangout spots by having confidants invite you there or by reading about them in books. Okay. Man, big open places like this are great. I think my training's going to go super good today. So remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. <laughs> How's that? Um. I think having a strong heart means you don't let it get anything get under your skin. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me, and I'll try not to get faced by it. Is this a roast session? <laughs> roast on? <laughs> Hang on, I need to get my paper out. I, I'm pretty sure I said the wrong thing to her just then. But um, I don't want to- I don't want to give her the wrong idea, you know? Because uh, my heart belongs to food about, you know, I haven't met her yet. Um, <laughs> where is her page? Where are you? On Takamaki. Where is she? Find her in my. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sorry, I can't turn. Okay, chair. Chair! <laughs> there we go. I couldn't scoot back. The wheels in my chair are being mean to me. Where is she? I need to number these pages. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Emperor, no! Okay, I, I definitely passed her. Okay. Let's see here. One page at a time! One page at a time! Where the fuck are you? On, stop trying to hide from me! <laughs> uh. How did I- I- I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm losing my mind. Here's Ryuji. There she is! Jeez Louise. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Okay. I'm ready now. <laughs> Alright, roast on. Okay. What kind of stuff? <laughs> We've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. Okay. <laughs> Guess I should say something to on. Come on, hit me with your best shot. Um. You're stupid. <laughs> You're an airhead. You're unique. Uh, I think out of all of these, she's actually an airhead. Yeah, 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 and? <laughs> oh, geez, sorry. There's like a siren? Oh. I'm close to a main street in our town, and uh, apparently there's like a fire truck and all sorts of other shit going down it right now. Alright. Hard worker. That response was annoying. <laughs> Can we stop yet? Uh. Can we stop yet? Uh-huh, uh-huh, what else? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> uh... Can we stop yet? <laughs> You're giving up? That means I win. <laughs> huh? Wait, is this how the game is supposed to go? Girl, you made it up, I don't know. Oh well. On to round two. Yes. Bring it on. 
Uh, um, this won't help your heart. <laughs> you know, I kind of feel like this won't make our persona stronger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right. <laughs> hmm. yeah, something's not right. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I just got an email from my agency. Agency? Oh yeah, she's a model, isn't she? The next shoot is really far. Wait, what's this at the end? It's a notice saying to pay extra te attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently, some models haven't been showing up at all lately. <gasps> then when they asked why they didn't come, all the models said they heard there was a change in schedule. Oh no! <laughs> it sounds like shoots have been really hectic with all the scrambling they've had to do for substitutes. That sounds sketchy as fuck. <laughs> Penguin! <laughs> it's the hot blondie. <laughs> How are you? Sorry, I'm just drinking my tea before it gets too cold. Also, my throat's kind of stupid today. Mm. But yeah, based on what Andra said, this sounds sketchy as fuck. Like, people are trying to lure the models, like, somewhere else. <laughs> the opposite of on is not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> For a second, I thought that said Nina, and I was like, what? <laughs> Nah, brah. Nah. <laughs> Hang on. Ooh. Okay. Sorry about that. I just wanted to check my tea. Which sounds like nah, which makes her American. Okay. <laughs> uh, has that happened to you? What tea is it? It is green peach paradise tea. Quite yummy. With lots of honey, because my throat's being stupid. No, I haven't missed a single shoot so far. It probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up too. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. <laughs> this must be good then, it is. Though, actually, my first modeling gig was as a sub. That was back when I still lived in- when I was still in Finland. Oh. My parents didn't have enough models for their event. What? What? <laughs> oh, I haven't told you? No, clearly not, On. <laughs> my parents are both fashion designers who put on some serious- seriously extravagant shows. Do you want to make your phone? Uh, I- they're both underage, so I hope- <laughs> You can date someone in this game, but I don't know if it goes that far. And she's one of the romance options, but I'm not pr particularly pursuing her. They jump from country to country, so I only really see them for half of the year. Maybe less these days. Uh, the girl I like is Fudaba, we ha but we haven't met her in-game yet. I've just seen, like, pictures of her and I know her personality, kind of. She's a nerd girl. She cute. Uh, uh, that freedom sounds nice. Yeah, I guess I can afford to be pretty relaxed these days. Plus, it would probably be tough being a phantom thief with my parents around, don't you think? It was rough when I was little, though. It was just me and our live-in caretaker. Trousers, bro. <laughs> the plaid? <laughs> it's part of a school uniform, apparently. They have to wear red plaid. I didn't really have any friends. Wow, that got dark fast. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when I'm modeling, it almost feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I'd want to make a living out of it. After all, uh, sorry. That's where Kamashida spotted me. And that's how our class started these those rumors. <laughs> Spicy. 
Besides, the Phantom Thieves are more important to me right now. Nobody can be my substitute there. That's why I need to get stronger. I have- I sense a heightened motivation from on. Level up! Leveling up that confidence. Alright. Follow up. Choose to perform a follow up attack if Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. What do I put in my coffee? I don't really drink coffee that much anymore, but um I like I'm a I'm a basic bitch and I love pumpkin everything, so I really like pumpkin creamer. And uh sugar, <laughs> of course. I need lots of stuff in my coffee to make it drinkable. But I'm a tea person. Drinking coffee is like cheating at life. It's just, it's too bitter. Like, too heckin' bitter. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was a female thief. She'd lose to the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really a good person, per se. But she was beautiful, strong, sincere, and even sexy. <laughs> she always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted. She knew what justice was for her. Okay. I want to grow up to be just like her someday. She's talking about herself. <laughs> I hope I'm getting uh, closer now, if only just a little bit. Bye. Well, see you later. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> we're all like thieves, <laughs> it, it, but not in the, not in the sense you'd think. <laughs> we steal people's distorted desires in their weird cognition palaces, not actual things. <laughs> Can't he? <laughs> if only. Uh, hey, it's me. Thanks for coming with me today. So after we met up, met up, I tried doing some runway walks on the way home. Like how a cool, sexy woman would walk. <laughs> okay. Then some girl who was watching me nearby started to copy me and, ru and runway walked with me. She had to have seen me, right? Do you think she thought I was cool? What is happening? <laughs> it be. It's almost enough to make me blush, kind of. Oh, jeez. Hang on a second. Roddick is okay! <laughs> Stupid freaking thing. Main character looks like someone who wants to steal a Roddick magazine. Wow. To be honest, I feel kind of bad for her. She has no idea the real me is a human disaster. <laughs> mm, I guess I still got a long way to go, but I'm not giving up. I made the decision that I'm going to get stronger. So I need to overcome my obstacles. Thanks for hanging out with me. Okay, bye. <laughs> ah, you're back. Hey, hey Sojuro. You know if you can't you got a notification on your phone. Make sure what? Oh. What is going on? My cat's all sad in the other room. <laughs> Exam soon. This is Ryuji. Is Morgana the cat of the bar? This isn't a bar, this is a cafe! <laughs> it's a cafe. Oh, this music's so good. <laughs> See? Exams are coming up soon. You're not getting a jump uh, studying without me, right? Right? <laughs> if you're gonna do it, you wanna do it together? I'm s in serious trouble. <laughs> Or Italy is like cafe. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. I mean, it look they look similar. It looks like the counter and the stools and such. Uh, so what's gonna be? Do you want to study with Ryuji? Oh, gosh. okay. Not right now. <laughs> what's this? Hi, Mishima. I have a report as your strategic image <laughs> management representative. Okay. I just thought of a new way to help you out. 
I really want to tell you about it. Do you have time today? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Everyone wants to hang out. Stop it. I'm gonna do other things right now. You can get coffee, snacks, and sometimes like prepared meals or sandwiches. Oh yeah, um... Our, our cafes had, uh, uh... Well, I don't see anything that you didn't spell right, so... <laughs> Uh, our cafes usually have, like, some food options, too, though, like, not a lot, like, usually it's, like, little scones, or tiny little sandwiches, or, um, uh, sometimes cookies. Oh, sandwiches. Oh, uh, you spelled it right the first time. Oh, well, I think you just switched. <laughs> I think that's just a typo around here. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you spell sandwiches. Hi, Sojiro. Why did I take in a kid like this? I must be getting old. Okay. Uh... Well, let's go study with Ryuji, I guess. <laughs> Since exams are coming up, and then we'll hang out with Mishima tomorrow. Uh, Sojiro is like... Yeah, kinda. He's my caretaker. Um, so at the beginning of this game... <laughs> Stepdaddy. <laughs> At the beginning of this game, your character, um, the main character, my guy's name is Cairo, he, uh... He stopped a woman from being sexually assaulted by this drunk politician, like, in the street. At the time, he didn't know it was a super powerful politician guy. But he shoved the guy off of her, and, uh, the guy, like, fell down and got hurt, and then he sued. <laughs> And so the main character got expelled from his school, and then his parents sent him away to Sojiro, uh, to uh, Shibuya, where I'm going to a new school, and they're also paying Sojiro to take care of me while I'm here. Uh, even, you know, even though, you know, we stopped that guy from assaulting a woman. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Eat the rich! Anyway. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so let's go study with Ryuji. Japanese. Uh, let's stay together. That's a huge help. I'll be waiting in, at the diner in Shibuya. Alright. Hey, buddy. Huh, I'm starting to get the hang of this. So I guess that's what I do with this one, too. Wait, that's no good. Damn it, what'd I mess up on? <laughs> what is that loading screen? Oh, Pose, bro. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This game's crazy sometimes. Uh, jeez. Is this technically a confidant thing? Hang on. <laughs> Let me get his page up. He's right by on. Here we go. Ryuji. Okay. I'll remember that. Okay. We'll see if that's it. Uh... Maybe a careless mistake? No, try starting over, my dude. Good advice, Cairo. It's important to revisit and review where things went wrong. Oh. That was... Ooh, that was big knowledge. That was big knowledge! Big brain! <laughs> Hmm. Oh, here. If I just fix this... No, it's... Yeah, it's basically... Oh, we got... It's just, like... Like, leveling up things. <laughs> it's a good thing. When you see notes, it's a good thing. <laughs> Whoa, problem solved. You're freaking amazing, dude. Best advice ever. Maybe <laughs> we'll grab a refill. Solving that question got me real pumped up. Okay, buddy. Okay. Head back? Guess we should go home. You too? Ah. <gasps> it's raining! It means we'll get extra study points. Oh gosh. What is this? I can't believe this. A school assembly during exam week? The hell are they thinking? It's the day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's gonna be about Mr. Kamishida again. Ugh, I can't believe the school is messing with our schedules like this. I don't care what it's about. It's, go it's gonna have nothing to do with us students. I wish they'd stop dragging us into their mess. <laughs> it's 
coffee free in America. Oh, geez. That's fancy. No, uh, you can get refills in most places, um, like restaurants and stuff. Uh, but you, like, you do have to pay for the first cup, but then it's free refills in most places. Um, though I think if you go to like a big name place like Starbucks or something, they definitely don't do free refills <laughs> there. Um, probably because it's like fancy. I guess. I personally don't like the taste of Starbucks coffee. Oh, sorry. I'm pouring myself some more tea. Oh my goodness. I might have some coffee tomorrow, though. Got me all thinking about it. Starbucks fancy. Well, okay. It's not... I mean, like, expensive. <laughs> Squeaky bottle, sorry. I know for sure around here there's no like super fancy places for anything actually. I live in a tiny town. But <laughs> test scores, let's see it. <laughs> I've never tried anything besides Italian espresso. Oh. I don't think I've ever tried that at all. <laughs> let's Seems see. pretty rough. A mandatory assembly during exam week, huh? Sounds rough for all of you. I love how Morgana just hangs out in my bag. <laughs> Aries is definitely human. Well, shall we begin? Alright. Guess who has a guidebook? Guess who has a guidebook? <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> No cheat. This is, I don't care. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna know these things, okay? <laughs> uh, now then, let the first day of exams begin. What historical figure inspired the idiom of favoring the magistrate? Uh, that's this one. <laughs> Listen, Bingu, I, be I believe, but at the same time, last time we did this, you had the wrong answer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want- this is purely just to level up knowledge and stuff, so... I'm <laughs> sorry! <laughs> What's this one? Ooh, we can do this! That sounds about right, okay. Mm. An essay question? This looks tough, but calm down, think through. Provide the reason why Minamoto no Yushi Yoshitsune is viewed as a hero. Uh, Yoshitsune had a brother, right? Uh, I think his name was... No, Morgana can actually talk to us, but everyone else hears him meowing. <laughs> but the Phantom Thieves can hear him talking normally. Uh, this one. Uh, Yoshitsune worked under Yoritomo, uh, Yoritomo. He did a lot for his brother. But they ended up coming into conflict, and in the end, when they had to oppose each other... <laughs> How does she know? She who? Morgana? Morgana a boy. Morgana boy. Uh, Yoritomo? Yeah, Yoritomo one. Yeah, Yoshitsune committed suicide after being exiled by his brother. But even after he lost, Yoshitsune's the one who went down in history as a hero. That's probably because people tend to sympathize less with figures of power and sympathize more with... A boy? <laughs> Like gender fluid or I don't think so. Because <laughs> he definitely has a thing for on, which is weird. The weak. Not just any weak person, though. People love rooting for an underdog who stands up to powerful oppressors. Morgan is a female name. It, it is, but I don't. Because uh, <laughs> yeah, that's from the um. It's from the like the Merlin Arthur King Arthur stuff. Morgana was the witch, powerful sorceress. Um. Okay. 
People love rooting for an underdog who, st who stands up to powerful oppressors, and Yoshitsune did that to his brother. So the reason Yoshitsune is treated as a hero is because he stood up against the powerful Yorito Yoritomo. <laughs> Don't I stare. Yep. You finished in time. There are some names, though, that I've discovered recently that are technically, um, uh, gender-neutral names. Like Sasha? <laughs> Sasha can be a boy's name. Ashley was originally a boy's name. And then it, it's turned to being more for girls. Um, so who knows, maybe Morgana is, uh, gender-neutral and we just don't know it. Time is up. Put down your pencils and put your hands under your desks. I thought he was gonna say, put your hands up. <laughs> this is an arrest. <laughs> Alright. Let's get started. <laughs> it's definitely not a gender fluid name. <laughs> Look at this sassy fuck. <laughs> Today is the second day of exams. You may begin. Uh, which uh, brain function is responsible for the phenomenon of seeing an illusion in this figure? It's cognition, I believe, yes. Cognition! Ooh, we can do this! Alright. Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same color? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's both. Yeah, I can say anything. Both! Ooh, we can do this! Calm down, Morgana. <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> it could be. Just had an A. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, class, let's get started. Does everyone have a test? Then you may begin. Name the book that defined male factor as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. Okay. It is this one. <laughs> Morgana is the best hype man. I know, right? <laughs> well, yes man under there. Uh, what character archetype refers to the mysterious seductive women, typically, with ulterior motives? Oh, I know this one without even having to look. Then make it down. Juliet, clearly. <laughs> awesome. I think, yeah, I think that's all of the exams. Alright. Let me put this back. Alright, a school-wide assembly at this time of year? Really? I think we can bring our flashcards in. <laughs> what the hell? Kamishida is just one of many things wrong with this school. Why are little stars popping from your eyes? I mean, those are stars of knowledge and smartness. <laughs> I've got to hurry home and study. Okay. That Kamishida is still causing us trouble, even when he's gone. Was the barb Oh, I didn't see it. Oh yeah, the fan site. Um, it's felt like that because it's the Phantom Thieves website, so fan site. Oh, this is Prince Principal Potato, <laughs> as I've been calling him. <laughs> it's Principal Potato. <laughs> It's the counselor. I know about him. Isn't he hot? Isn't he hot? <laughs> Come on. It's nice to meet you all. What in the maze hues? Anyway. <laughs> Whoa, his voice is sexy. Okay, ladies. My name is. Uh huh. He's a male teacher with glasses. Oh, yeah. Thank you. There we go. Now he has a name. No need to be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. You can even call me Doc if that would help you feel more comfortable. Any assistance you need, I'll be. Oh. I guess I'm not really any good for helping. 
would never go visit that doctor. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Maruki. <laughs> Just shove them up. Yo. Oh yeah, I know I have to get let's see. He has to reach Damn it, paper. I have to get him to rank nine by November eighteenth. I have that in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> He's pushing with his belly heels. You ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our schools made national news. Maybe they figured <coughs> they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything <coughs> for us. Sorry. Heckin' allergies. And Dr. Uh, Dr. What's his name? <laughs> Maruki. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? You really think he'll do us any good? For you, G. Oh. Hey there. Hi. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you. How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Glasses, <laughs> cool news. Those that had a. Uh, Previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. Uh. <laughs> to think I'd end up in a cast. <laughs> I mean, I think out of the three, like, I probably am the least affected out of the three of us. You're quite Be the careful. tough youngster. Just don't overdo it, okay? So, what do you want with us? Ah, uh, yes. I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. <laughs> Ryuji! Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. That sounds sussy as fuck. <laughs> All you can eat would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. <laughs> so, how about it? Damn, yeah. We're not little kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Hang on a second. I know his voice. I have to find out. <laughs> I have to find out. Let's see here. Maruki, Maruki, where is he? Billy Commence. Okay, I don't know the actor's name right off the bat, but let me just look through, see what I know him from, because I know I know him from something. <laughs> I would fall for his <laughs> trick. You're like, mmm, snacks? Tell me more. <laughs> to be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interest. Uh huh. It's students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? <laughs> I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Oh, he passed from ca- oh, that's sad. <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you about Kamashita in a second there. Thank you. Um, oh, that's sad. Like, ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. <laughs> not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh... <laughs> Mental training. If I make good use of this, it may aid in our Phantom Thieves activities too. Not getting nervous on dates I'm in. <laughs> There's also snacks. 
There's a, ooh, snacks. All right, all right, enough with the snacks. <laughs> so, which way are you leaning? Uh, well, apparently, <laughs> I uh, like <laughs> both options are yes. Uh, suicide? No, he didn't. He didn't. Um, he just like Kamashita was a shitbag. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll tell you about him in just a second. <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm. Yeah. Really? Then I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. <laughs> you deal with Mark. Uh, okay, so the only thing I think I know him from is, uh, Ferdinand from Fire Emblem, and, uh, Nic Niccolo, I think it was, from Attack on Titan. That's the only things I've seen him in. It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. You with Maro Q, the first chance you got. There okay, has to be you got it. You helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Give me a name. Um. I am thou. No. <laughs> thou art I. It shall become okay. the wing with the birth of the counselor persona. I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Uh, okay, so Pingu, Kamishida was the first guy that we, uh, we had to change his heart. You're <laughs> strong mentally, someone must have helped you. <laughs> Seriously. All right. Um, he was the PE teacher and the volleyball coach in the school, and he was physically abusing the volleyball team, like, beating the shit out of them. And then he was also sexually harassing the underage girls <laughs> the school. And then on, uh, he was trying to have relations with her, and her best friend was on the volleyball team, and he's like, well, she's not gonna keep her position unless you come to my house and we do things. And she refused, and so then he apparently did those things to her friend instead, and then her friend jumped off the roof of the school, tried to kill herself. <laughs> Thankfully she survived, but, uh, yeah, no, Kamashida was a huge shitbag. <laughs> so hold up, dude! Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. Okay, bye. But yeah. She was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ugh. quiet down. To Mario Kart told you. Oh yeah, this is definitely Mario Kart esque. <laughs> Alright, settle down. I have an ad addendum to the uh, earlier assembly regarding the counseling you've all been offered. That counselor will be available to you starting after school today in the nurse's office. Okay, I guess we're going there. <laughs> Dr. Maruki will only be posted here through November, so be sure to speak with him soon if you feel the need. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether or not you see him, but there are a few students I'll speak with later. The school's decided visits to Dr. Maruki will be mandatory for these individuals, though. So. Yeah, you guys gonna go for it? What, the counseling? It kinda sounds like we're being forced to. <laughs> I told Maruki I'd, I'd do it, but... I don't know if I'm really into that idea, you know? <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Probably better not to draw more attention to ourselves anyway. I think I'm gonna try going today. Mm. Counseling, eh? Lady On's right. Make sure you visit him so you don't draw any attention to yourself, okay? Yes. 
Oh. <sighs> Welcome. Uh, I, the school just decided since we were involved with, I mean, because On was heavily involved with the whole Kamashita thing, and uh, Kamashita also uh, broke Ryuji's leg at one point. <laughs> And then tried to get us all expelled. It was just wild. Yeah, is now a bad time? <laughs> not at all. It's always a good time. So long as I'm not already listening to a student. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? <laughs> oh my. Well, shall we begin? This guy's evil! <laughs> Shall we get started? Oh, but first, just relax, alright? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Sure. Although, I really only have one thing on my mind right now, anyway. Hmm. Yes, I'd say that makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You could even just grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted, ha ha ha. Why is he so pushy about the snacks? <laughs> no, it's... it's alright. I know I need to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to the super long story. I absolutely am. Take all the time you need. Okay. I see. That's such a horrible thing to do to someone. What did she talk to him about? Oh, the Kamashita thing. Yes, that's why I wanted to get even with him, for Shiho. Hmm, and? Mira back, no problem. <sighs> At first I thought Kamashita ought to face the same fate Shiho was going to do to put herself through. But... But? Right. Later, I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shiho's suffering. In fact, it just give him the easy way out. Yeah, true. <laughs> right. Is that so? You know, you are quite the wise, level-headed young woman, Kamaki-san. Huh? Uh, I think you've got the wrong... Nope, in fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. It's not like I did anything special, though. If I hadn't gone through my own share of hell, I don't think I'd be so mature either. I see. So what's on your mind now? Hmm, right now? Let me think. Hmm. I'm just hoping Shiho will get better quickly. We both suffered a lot, but I just want to go back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamashita. Now there's a healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this had happened at all, but... Quite. <laughs> I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Oh gosh. <coughs> <coughs> keep it throat. If only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Oh, seems I lost track of time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Oh no, thank you. I feel a ton better now that that's all off my chest. Be careful, okay? Uh, good to hear. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by anytime. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Will do. See you around. Hip, 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 hip. <laughs> well, I went for I went in for counseling. You're going to too, right, Cairo? Gotta go. <laughs> well, it honestly wasn't as rough as I was expecting. I think you should go and just give it a shot. Dr. Maroki is is Easier to talk to than you think. Ooh, Kit Kat. White chocolate Kit Kat is my favorite candy. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Hmm. Did you have a counseling? 
Uh, that's in the nurse, nurse, nurse's office in the practice building. Oh, it's this girl again. How are you? Ah, hello. Are you here for a session as well? Yes. Is that so? Dr. Maraki is a wonderful counselor. I've actually been seeing him for a while before he ever came to Shujin. Uh? <laughs> yeah, <she's... laughs> oh, I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go overselling me too hard, though, Yoshizawa-san. I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. She reminds me of Blossom oh, from Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> With her hair up in the giant bow. Hang on, I'm pouring more tea real quick. My throat is mad at me. My throat is not happy. <laughs> this guy has <laughs> self-esteem. I don't know if it's just lack of self-esteem rather than just being humble. Squeaky! He's a psycho uh, psychotherapist. <laughs> Uh, let's see we get started. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Ooh. Hang on, I think this is my first thing with him, isn't it? But I think I can just do any choices the first time I talk to him. Uh... Justice, Hermit, Fortune, where's the counselor? Hanged man, death, temperance, devil tower, <laughs> devil tower, devil tower. How do you know what's uh, illegal and the various laws you visit in another state in America? Uh, internet? <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it, they don't vary terribly much, but yeah, m uh, most of each states have their own laws. And honestly, yeah, like, the only way I know of to look shit up is the end. Ah, here he is, okay. Yeah, so any choices this time. Oh, we don't have to worry about, uh, pro like, s specific choices until we're getting him from rank 2 to rank 3. <coughs> oh, sorry. My stupid allergies are so angry! <laughs> uh, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> You don't have to be so tense. We're just going to have an ordinary conversation, that's all. I see. Hmm. Thank you. I see, thank you. Uh, I think I've gotten a good grasp on the situation you're in, Kurai -kun. Oh, thank you for that, but <laughs> Well, full disclosure. The school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. <laughs> so much more. I'm doing okay now. But you weren't before, I take it? Hmm. Try not to push yourself too hard, okay? So... Now that you've told me more about yourself, I think I've realized something. It seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external one. I should note, that's really truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. How to put it? You know how everyone has an internal reality, some con some conception of themselves they're striving for? For example... Like wanting to be a model student, or wanting to be loved and relied on, that kind of thing. But that idolized reality and the one in uh, actuality are often far apart. <laughs> Keep a dragon, I wish. <laughs> Uh, that gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish they could be. Hmm. You've already been through so much. That kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admirable. Then again, maybe that's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met, huh? Kinda <laughs> hear Uh... 
Yep. <laughs> You're leaning around the bush. You're a funny guy, Karakun. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Sorry, this went on longer than I expected. Somehow, the conversation took on a life of its own, I guess. When <sighs> <laughs> you need to try to this oh my gosh. <laughs> Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts. What they think, how they feel. If I get far enough with it, I think it will be able to help a lot of people, so... Uh... I'll need more details? I don't have counselors in the Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, they- you have to go to, like, a doctor for those kind of things for mental health? There isn't, like, a separate... <laughs> Real- <Ooh. laughs> Spicy. <laughs> well, we have, like, um... Like, my, uh, like, dream- Okay, but counselors are trained professionals here, too. <laughs> like, you have to have a degree. <laughs> Um, my husband has his master's degree in social work and he's doing, like, he does counseling and stuff, and he, he spent seven years in school for it, so <laughs> I feel like he's a trained professional for <laughs> this kind of stuff. Uh, I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with that research. All you have to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, any time's good for me. I can work around your schedule. And, uh, I've got a lot of snacks, too. <laughs> you can have them, they're yours. He keeps trying to push these snacks. Um, better make it worth it. Same here, yeah. Uh, will you? <laughs> Sorry, my dog. Come here! <laughs> Mark, he's maybe the best counselor in the world. Honestly, he's, he seems really easygoing, and I feel like if he was an actual, like, therapist in real life, he would put his, like, patients at ease and be able to help them more, because that's, like, the main thing you want to do as a therapist is, like, help your patient feel comfortable, <laughs> you know? <laughs> really? Yes, you're a lifesaver. Well... Let's see, I know. Maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training. I happen to know a lot on the subject. Too easy going, he's plotting something. <laughs> uh, I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I could cook up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could draw out your full potential. Thank you. Okay, I guess that's our second deal. Whoa. Okay, sorry. Something weird. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like my bond with Maraki is growing deeper. Okay. Jeez, that was fast. He's already ranked two. <laughs> All, right. All right. So the next time we meet him, I have to look at my guide to see what answers to give him. He's the main villain. Or he will die tragically. It's always one of the two. <laughs> it's always one of the two. Uh. I know. Oh, right. Would it be okay if we traded contact information? I'll contact you if I've got time, or when I need some input from you. That should do it. Now, now I better do my part to repay you. Let's talk about mental training and presence. Okay. Let's see. First off... Thanks to Maraki's mental training, my mind feels strong. All right. Your max SP. Ooh! Maruki, thank you. <laughs> oh, here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Oh my gosh. The only thing that weirds me out about him is how pushy he is with the snacks. <laughs> but that might just be a culture thing, I don't know. Well, see you. Thank you for your help today. I'll see you around at school. SP spaghetti points? Oh my gosh, that's what we're calling it from now on. <laughs> it's basically our mana, like... Um, how much we can do special moves and stuff in combat. We really spent a long time talking to Maruki. Look how late it is. Well, if you think the sessions are worthwhile, you should try going again sometime. Good night. 
But we should definitely get some sleep for now. Tomorrow's your last day of exams, right? Ooh, sorry. Hang on a second. I'm drinking tea. I need to get this song onto my iTunes playlist. <laughs> it's so chill. We're just gonna listen to it while I chuck my tea. Okay. I have coffee and that. I have no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> With the T. I have no idea. Do you want to do it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm bad at pronunciation of things. Does this need stuff? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go down. Let's go to bed. Oh my gosh, fine. <laughs> Juan or Jean Duyado? Jean Duado? Duyado? Duyado? Gosh. <laughs> Words are hard. Right, let's save right here. Just in case. Alright, can I can I do this? <laughs> yes, yay! <laughs> Okay, fine, Jeeves. Well, Alright. Oh my gosh, it's such a good song. It's so fucking chill and I love it. Alright. Hi, Ryuji. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Same. I ended up pulling an all nighter once I realized today is the last day of exams. Staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> oh, you, you say that, but you probably just spent the whole night studying. <laughs> uh, morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. <gasps> Impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Wow. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. <laughs> Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? <laughs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Huh? What? Is it Makoto? Am I imagining things? Or no, there was that one guy that was following her. The white shirt and the dark hair. Wrong. What? You see a groper or something? Groper? What's it? What? No, that's not it. It's nothing. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Bad. <laughs> Roper? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on. Huh? <laughs> okay. Karate, chop him! Oh. Oh, it's this guy. Uh, hmm. Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? Uh, not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Talking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me ever since the train. That's because. <laughs> My goodness. I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't <laughs> even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay. I think the old guy might be Madarame, which we've heard. Um, is apparently potentially corrupt. But I don't know for sure. What? It's her first time You're seeing the him. woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? No, it's not Aunt's father. Wait a minute, I. Be the model for my next art piece. Uh. <laughs> model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> this man's highly suspicious! Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? Whoa, hold your horses! Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. <laughs> he is still a little creepy. By the way, uh, his voice actor is the same as Levi from Attack on Titan. <laughs> I wouldn't accept it, yeah. Yusuke. Oh. I'm Madarame Sensei's pupil, and mm. I'm the allowed residence at his place. That is Madarame, okay. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Madarame? Madarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. Okay, bye. That guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are ya? I think I will. <laughs> Crap, but look at the time! I'll see you later! How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. Oh? I don't like how- <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. <laughs> he was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. What? <laughs> but he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? Uh, sure, I'll just be honest with her. This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I see. <clears throat> Fine. Let's get back to Madarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Okay. Oh, I haven't seen any of Chainsaw Man, but I, it was just recommended to us yesterday by um, 
our two besties. <laughs> um, my husband and I are best friends with this um, this couple. We've known them. Oh, jeez. How long have I? It's definitely been at least nine years since I've met uh, met them. There's my waifu, Makima. Huh? <laughs> uh, today's the last day of exams, huh? Seems like some of those were kind of tough. Yep. Well, it wasn't too bad. You should have gotten a decent score, right? Waifu. Yeah, like... I, I know the gist. Like... Your crush, you know? <laughs> Uh, finally done with exams. Hey, are you gonna go in for counseling? I saw the volleyball guys getting called in. Not a crush. More than that? <laughs> it's the reason of my life. I'm a monster, oh my. <laughs> oh shit, I got the question that question wrong. I know, right? I feel like I have to protect that teacher. What? What are they talking about? What teacher? What? what? Explain? Mm, it's over. It's over. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I'm feeling confident. You're obsessed with over protecting people. <laughs> This is so romantic. Have you seen the, um, the series You on Netflix? <laughs> it's in their genes. <laughs> you traitor. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. I'm not- oh, okay. Yeah, it's, um basically about the stalker guy and his whole like mentality is like he's like I have to protect her you know and like he's like I'm just following her around and stalking her on social media and in real life you know to protect her <laughs> and, like it just spirals out of control <clears throat> sorry I almost choked on my own spit <laughs> uh the usual site it's no use there ain't any useful info the number of posts are getting less and less too I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic raised eel. Ew, both of those sound nasty. <laughs> we don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? Evil Penguin 666. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> <I'm> joking, okay. <laughs> oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? Malvagio equals evil. Evil? Malvagio? I don't know that word. I'm curious too. Hmm. Oh. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. <laughs> well, if everyone's going, it's settled then. Uh, it's gonna be fun. I like art exhibits. Just the phrase "going to an art exhibit" sounds kind of mature. I've always wanted to see uh, Van Gogh's stuff, especially the sunflower uh, painting he did and the starry sky. I really like, really like his stuff. Exhibit entrance tomorrow. Uh, my mom actually is a very talented artist, a painter. She can paint realism. Like, okay. do I like mushrooms? 
I actually like eating them. I cannot. Like, I love the way mushrooms look, but I will never eat them. <laughs> I have a thing with texture, and they land right into that. <laughs> Can't handle it. Um, but I like like the way mushrooms look and stuff. Because my texture thing, like, it's weird. I, I, I can't explain it really. It's just certain textures, the second I feel them in my mouth, my gag reflex instantly activates. Like, uh, it's just bizarre. Like, I've tried sushi before and I'm like, mmm, tastes good, but the texture is gonna make me vomit. <laughs> Start growing mushrooms, nice. Um, curious to know if this Madarama has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. I can't afford to be late now, I better go- <laughs> nah, okay. Um... Shoot, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but my mom, she can paint, um, she's done murals around our town, actually. Like, she did a mural for a restaurant, um... She's done murals for, like, there was this, uh, day- not really a daycare, it was like a- a uh, shelter for kids in need and stuff that she painted like a mural at, uh, by their playground. But she can do really, really fancy, um, heckin' uh, realism like nature art, like trees and bushes in the sky and stuff. Her clouds are really good too, but she, she talented. So I keep thinking about what Nakanahara said. Nakanahara? Could it have been? Could he have been talking about the famous artist Madarame? That sounds about right. I mean, what other Madarame would it be? <laughs> Seconded. Great. The name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, you guys ever heard of someone else called Madarame? Yeah, exactly! <laughs> Aren't too young to work. <laughs> Wait a minute, hang on a second, Bingo. Are you being spicier? Because this is 18 plus. <laughs> this is 18 plus stream. <laughs> I'm 11. <laughs> Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> it's really not common at all. If what we heard is true, Kitagawa kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. Plus 12. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sneaky. 23. Oh no! But no one likes you when you're 23. Haven't you heard the Blink-182 song? Quick, turn 24! <laughs> you mean a teacher who treats people like tools. Hidegawa kun's life is probably pretty terrible. Oh, it's a Blink-182. No, well, it's... <laughs> It's just a joke my husband and I constantly uh, have, because uh, Blink-182 is a band that we liked in our youth. And there's one song that says, Nobody likes you when you're 23! <laughs> so we constantly joke about that line. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we gotta look into this. Okay. Uh... Can I do anything, or is he gonna yell at me to go to bed? Oh, perfect, okay. okay. Make two. Well, we might as well. We'll make two lockpicks. Yeah. Gonna get that proficiency up! Proficiency! Yeah. Cool. Oh, excellent! We're proficiency too. Okay, now right. we really have to work on guts. Gotta work on them guts. I'm gonna drink some water real quick. Hey, it's raining! <laughs> what is this line for? What type of water? Uh, tap? <laughs> it's tap water? <laughs> Uh, but I put it in my, my thermos and put ice cubes in it, so it's I call it my iceberg water, because it's like so fucking cold and I love it. <laughs> um, oh, that exhibition must be opening today. It's really packed. Wanna come back another time? I want it, but it's so pricey. I should take out the loan. <laughs> okay. I wanna see that. Let's go together sometime. 
Is it normal to buy water and plastic? I mean, for some people. I mean, they do sell it like crazy. My, uh, my mom and stepdad. So crowded. Uh, my mom and stepdad buy bottled water a lot, but they go camping a lot, so they take that with them. Um, kind of goes varies from person to person. We personally just drink water from our from our tap from <laughs> from the sink. <laughs> Uh, but the tap water in our town is good, like, there, there's a few towns in, uh, America that have really nasty tap water that you should not be drinking. <laughs> but ours is good, thankfully. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, alright? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. What did you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like- Oop, sorry. Well, see you guys later. Didn't mean to hit that button so fast. Will Lady Hun be alright? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? <laughs> what the hell? I told you not to come out! Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Uh, let's learn about Madarame, yeah. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Oh, hmm? there he is. It's that old man from the other day. Isn't that him? We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. Oh uh, yeah, I like museums. Um, I haven't been to any- well, oh no, that's a lie. I went to the museum in Japan and that was amazing. <laughs> that place was so cool. Um, I also went to the Studio Ghibli Museum in Japan, which is the favorite- my favorite museum I've ever been in. I actually legitimately cried when I was in there because <laughs> I was so overwhelmed by how freaking beautiful it was. And I don't cry. I hate crying. <laughs> But I just got so overwhelmed in that place. It was so beautiful. I highly recommend if you ever go to Japan, go to the Studio Ghibli Museum. But you do have to buy your tickets like six months in advance online. Because you cannot buy them the same day. <laughs> I love Studio Ghibli. I just- oh jeez. It was so beautiful. Um, and then uh, I saw- see I saw the I'm like um, I live pretty close to Denver and they have um <laughs> you monkey evolution. that's the bot remember Pingu <laughs> that's my bot <laughs> um let's see uh but yeah like the Denver Museum um, in Colorado has rotating stuff that comes by every so often and I've seen the Viking one, which was really cool. And then I also saw the Titanic one, which was also super, super cool. Um, I really, like, the Titanic story has always interested me. Not the actual movie, because whatever about the movie, I'm not big on chick flicks. <laughs> um, the actual story, like, I don't know. Sadly, I'm drawn to tragedy. <laughs> But it's just- it was just crazy, like, what happened- what actually happened with the Titanic. And if you guys haven't seen Ghost in the Abyss, which is a documentary about it, go watch it! Because, <laughs> like, it's about, um, them diving down and exploring the sunken Titanic. And they have these little robots, because obviously you can't actually have a human out there that deep, they will die. So <laughs> they had these- uh, little robots uh, with cameras that they sent inside the sunken ship and um, you could see like there were still like perfectly stacked plates and stuff like it's so weird like how they remain perfectly stacked even at the bottom of the ocean and stuff and it's so eerie and it's just odd but anyway <laughs> um <laughs> am I weirding you out I'm sorry <laughs> We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. Ryuji, what the fuck are you doing? They naturally well up from within my heart. 
like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires such as money and fame. Uh huh. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. What's, wor what's wrong with the word shack? <laughs> you would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Um, wasn't the word shack something? Madarame san is actually here? Over there. Oh, gosh. I'm so glad I came on opening day. Oh, jeez. Okay, <laughs> stop pushing. There's way too many people. I'm getting crushed. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. The only museum which is in my own is an art museum. Oh, nice. I've always wanted to go to an art museum. Um, sadly, I have not. <laughs> Was it in Italy? He's special. There you are, Yusuke. And I saw uh, I don't know the word of gore theme. Uh what? <laughs> what could he mess in? Sensei. Nani? Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Okay. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it. The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <laughs> okay. Is something wrong? Don't mind me. Did he paint it and Madarame is taking credit? There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Or something. Hey. It, ha it has it has dark origins, like I bet. Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. <laughs> Thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. The music just got intense. <laughs> Why did you leave without me? <laughs> you got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd, and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this, too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Oh, I called his it. his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I 
wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Oh. Huh. Stream wasn't loading? Hang on, let me... Uh... Okay, well... Streamlabs didn't tell me there were any drop frames, cause, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. <laughs> Oh, your PC. <laughs> oh, I've been there. <laughs> uh, doesn't he? Yeah, he seems like highly, highly know, right? sus. All fits way too sussy well to baka. Just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitago Akun gave me his contact info. And the address to his sensei's atelier. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> if it is, it just might be exactly what we need. Okay. Well then. It reminds me of my home shopping. Oh yes, let's go check. Thank you. I'm so glad that uh, Morgana always reminds you. <laughs> Hello. What do we have? Allergy relief pack comes with two calming masks, twenty wide eye drops. Wow. And then. Cosmetic Cure Gift, Aroma Machine, and Omni Vitamin. Uh, Aries, if you're still here, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? I'm not sure which one to do. Hey, hey. Holy shit, this one's expensive. <laughs> but it might be worth it, I don't know. A gift set for health and cosmetics left by working women everywhere. But this comes with 20 eye drops, which is pretty crazy. I'm guessing that helps with like blindness. We haven't really come across uh, much status effects. Sorry, squeaky bottle. <laughs> I'm pouring more tea. Uh, status effects in um, the metaverse yet, so. I don't know. I kind of want to save my money, <laughs> even though I have a lot. Squeaky. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Woo! <coughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> um. I think. Uh, you know, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> We're gonna splurge. Treat yourself. <laughs> Alright. And I have to, uh... Oh, thank you, Aries. <laughs> well, I have such bad allergies today. Uh, let me actually look through my... equipment, because I haven't done that for a while. Let's see, do I have anything? Nope. Reference. Ooh. I haven't equipped a riot pistol yet. Let's do that. Uh, okay. This is good. Succubus pajamas. Oh my goodness. Um, old Duke's coat. Uh, I'll wear this. Um, okay, and then here's this all this stuff. Oh my gosh. Elegant outfits. Yes, I'm all about cute shit. Um, pink and. <laughs> Also very like nature 
based stuff is also cute to me. All sorts of people gather in the big city. Crooks are everywhere. Okay. I wish I could spend time with him. Uh, let's make some coffee. Hey. Uh, wait. Wait. I can go out and about, right? I can leave. Girls in shirt and tie. Oh, cute. Um. Wait, can I not? Oh, I can't leave the area. Bummer. The white elegant shirt, like the white button down, like white button down with the collar. I think that's. We'll just brew coffee. Actually, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna clean because we need to increase our kindness. We're gonna clean. And that makes Sojuro happy. Yeah, no. Uh, just button downs. <laughs> it's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> nice business shirts. All right, here we go. Queen should do it for now. We need to get our kindness to level four. Our kindness to level four. Mucky Ma's hey. wearing it with a tie. Oh. Is that from, uh, Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man? What is the premise of Chainsaw Man? <laughs> I, I, like, just by the frickin' name, I obviously, like, think of One Punch Man. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Oh, it's Maruki! Okay, oh, it's the 16th, I think there's a quiz today. Hang on. Let's see, the 16th, yes there is, okay. <laughs> All right. Hey there, I'm Dr. Maruki, your school counselor. Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to talk to you a little about how mental health and uh, uh, perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So... See, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. The protagonist is friended with a doggish chainsaw devil? That sounds amazing. <laughs> There's proof it can even heal you, depending on your outlook. Things happen in the acquire his powers. Ooh, that's a neato burrito. So, Kurai-kun. Hi, yes. Any ideas? What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your co uh, condition? Oh, I actually know this already. It's, yeah, placebo. And his arms and head become chainsaws. That's wild. This is it. That's right. These are gazebos! <laughs> Have you guys seen It? <laughs> the new It movie. Oh, gosh. Yep, that's correct. Some people specify that placebo don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can, bleh, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. Yeah, well, um, placebo can definitely work. I've seen like studies of that and stuff. We call that a nocebo. Hey, did he get that question? I wasn't even close. Like, I feel like I got... Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Oh, gosh. Nice going. That's why I have superpowers. <laughs> Knowledge! Hmm. That's just one example, but my point is that our minds and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important not to push yourself too hard. Remember, your mind needs time to rest too. And it's my job to help with that, so come by the nurse's office whenever you're feeling down. Mm. The mind affects the body, huh? You think I'll change back into a human if I just believe it in, in it hard enough? <laughs> the train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? I'm sorry, Morgana, but in your current form and in our situation, you're a pet. <laughs> Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare. 
Oh, there's a pet here. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, Kitty. Uh -huh. oh, shoot. Is that your pet, Mister? I heard it meowing. It's a stuffed animal. <laughs> your Majesty. It's just a creature. Um, it's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. Perfect, yes. On. Help it backing me up. <laughs> you heard her. Press on its head. I have played Elden Ring, but I haven't beat it, so no spoilies. <laughs> I've played uh, all three Dark Souls games um, to completion. And I tr I've played a little bit of Bloodborne, but it's just not really... The gameplay style is a bit different, so I have trouble with it. Um... Because uh, it's more dodgy rather than using a shield, and I often use a shield in the other from software games. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I, I'm i pretty sure I'm not even halfway through Elden Ring, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, we got past... Jeez, what was his name? The Grafted Godric. We got past him. And we've explored quite a few areas and done like a bunch of mini-bosses, but... Yeah, um, I'm a big fan of From Software, though. They're fun. Um, my only complaint about those games is I don't like the invasion thing. I know it's like a huge part of it, but I just really wish that you could uh, turn it off. <laughs> I really wish you could just turn it off, because I'm not a big fan of PvP. I got stuck, so I dropped it. <laughs> yeah. It can be hard. I mean, that's what they're known for. This is ridiculous. <laughs> 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 kid. Time to button mash. Yes. I broke him. <laughs> It's because I didn't have the other half of an amulet. Well, that's what Google's for. Google it. <laughs> oh, I just threw open my mouth. <laughs> oh, seriously? Uh, she can hear Julia. him meowing. Julia. The button match was like, on the yeah. left side. Um, all the, everyone else just hears Morgana meowing. Only if the Phantom Thieves can hear him talk. Stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. <laughs> Cute kid. Whee. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? And we got to walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? <laughs> we could get a that cab. Complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Can I just... Damn it. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, get to Central Street. Not that way. Let's see. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, Jesus, I run into shit. Access way. Oh. Okay, fine, I'm sorry. Oh, is it right? Right. Here? No, that's the train. Sorry! <laughs> Oh, okay, here we go. Alright. Ooh. The light is just so weird. Okay, um. Here we go. Um. It's supposed to be in a residential area past Central Street. We'll have to walk a bit, though. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. 
Yamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to hit the button so fast. Is that it? We're oh yeah. At the right I address. don't trust that guy. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. It does look like a giant shack, and actually, I need to go blow my nose real quick. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, hi. <laughs> Wait, where am I? There I am. Okay. <laughs> It always takes her a second to show up. <laughs> All right. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? <laughs> no one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? <laughs> you woman. <laughs> Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. You two are here as well? Hey. Sorry, <laughs> but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. <laughs> this? <laughs> okay. Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home! This is no act of violence, it is charity! Uh, do I like spicy food? Sometimes? I, I don't have a high tolerance for it, unfortunately. My, my body just can't handle it. <laughs> Um, so I like what's spicy to me, <laughs> but anything that's like overly spicy kills me. It's rough. <laughs> and I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That, that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke. Uh oh. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. I mean, I guess. It's kind of spooky. A little bit of spooky vibes with, like, the branch and the moon in the back. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you. 
seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If Romanian. you'll excuse me then. I'm not sure what is considered Romanian. <laughs> um, I Unfortunately, I'm super picky about my food because of my texture thing. There are only certain stuff I can have um, without activating virgin's blood. <laughs> what? <laughs> Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the meta nap? Hey, the app. <gasps> Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace too, right? Ooh. But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? Hmm. Ah, what a pain! Uh, jail, uh, warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. <laughs> Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Um, a museum. Ah, oh, yeah. Beginning navigation. Wow, really? Because <laughs> we were all talking about museums earlier, that's what I was thinking. Cool. First try. <laughs> hey, when did you activate the nab? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. <laughs> so even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. So... <laughs> uh, so this uh, is a palace, so when there's distorted desires, it can create a palace, and if it's a, like the... The yes, uh, it wasn't yesterday, but um, the first stream you caught of mine where we were riding around in the in the van uh, on the train tracks that was the uh, mementos, which is everyone's shared palace because like if they're just minor whatever disordered desires they go there. Uh, but if the disordered desire is fucked up enough and strong enough, it becomes its own huge palace. Uh, Kamashida's was a castle, and it looks like Madarame's is a museum. So, this is the metaverse. It's like another plane of reality that we can enter. Forget that. Look! Fancy. That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. Oh, dang it, sorry. My ear. He's being stupid. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality, too, though. This exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. 
It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? <laughs> my building would be a fucking metropolis. <laughs> oh, geez, sorry. I smacked my desk with my ring. Uh. Yeah, that's the one. Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Oh! Yes. Look at Dawn's outfit! <laughs> that must be the maid outfit. Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Ugh, are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Uh... Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. Shall we go? We'll just have to find our way up and over it then. In any case, let's get going. Okay. Uh, hang on, I want to mess it. around with now that we can. No, no, no. well, actually, yes. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, though. There we go. Alright. Uh. Clip. Let's see. What the outfits look like? Um. Uh. Ultramarine outfit. What's that look like? <laughs> no. <laughs> suit on oh, his magical me <laughs> girly girl ready is this madoka magica <laughs> uh what's this <laughs> look at my giant head should write something oops no 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 all right well Samurai Garb. Yeah, I like that. And we'll deal with the other ones later, because I'll figure out something I like. Uh, <laughs> there is no preview. I know, me too! It's so annoying. Alright. Uh, okay, can't go that way. Oh. Cl yeah, climb. There we go. And then... Up and over. Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. <laughs> You're in 2022. Come on, I know, right? It's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Okay. way. Uh, okay, no. Go back this way. Damn it. Security here, too. We'll get caught if we stay in one spot for too long. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, is that for me? <laughs> yes, it is. Was this my dream? Like... What... What do you mean? <laughs> oh, I can... There we go. Hey! The skylight's open, I think we could get in here. Let's pray for a drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? Now's my time to Don't shine. worry, I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist, after all. 
So what you call Joker on the hand side? Yes. Your dream. That did not clarify being <laughs> in your life. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Um, I I'd ideally love to see my books like get somewhere. <laughs> Like, I would be astounded if they, uh, became, like, a TV show or something based off them. I'd be like, <gasps> I'm very passionate about, um, my writing and stuff. Um, and, uh, I don't know, like, just to continue being happy with my hubba rubber. I also want to get the hell out of the town I live in right now. <laughs> um... I've been here my whole life, so it's kind of like... Oh my God. And yeah, at the same time, moving away is kind of scary, because both my parents are here, and I've never been that far away from them. <laughs> um, but yeah, just living in a place I love, seeing success with my uh, books, seeing my hubby be successful with his social work, us being all happy and stuff. Uh, This... It's moving. No, oh, we're in a palace. That ain't nothing to be freaking out over. Hmm. Palace reflects it? its ruler's heart. We may want to check out these paintings. Okay. Uh, let's go to this one first. It's a girl. Some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name and age? Okay. Oh. <laughs> That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Hmm. Check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. Um. Hey, hey. I. Hey, hey. I. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, the next room. Okay, so is that implying that every single one of these- <laughs> Hey, hey, you know. <laughs> is that explain- like, saying that every single one of these is just a name and an age? Oh gosh, I was scared that that was gonna be an alarm. Hey. This one has a full name. Okay. I don't know if any of you have ever seen the, um, the RPG maker horror game Ebe. Just IB is <laughs> the name of it, but I'm getting heavy Ebe vibes. Because <laughs> that takes place in the art museum. You have? Yes! Isn't it give Ebe vibes? Hey. This whole floor can't be up portraits, right? Okay, we can't go that way. Yeah, that game was wild. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. Bro, just dead people, yeah. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Oh, that would be horrifying if these are, like, all his victims or something. Because that's a lot of victims. down the composition, okay. Not as many as mine. Oh no! Oh, I can just hide here. Can I- can you stop? Okay, there. Can you be seeing all these people on the walls? Okay. That's some thick parchment. Ooh, what's this? Wait! 
I <laughs> killed three mosquitoes today. Well, mosquitoes just need to be dead in general, so. <laughs> Drains is my KDA a lot. You should avoid touching stuff where we don't need to. Okay, fine. Huh? No way. Oh, it's Yusuke. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistake. <laughs> Never died yet. Not even once. <laughs> it's not in your nature to die. <laughs> huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Patrons of the museum. Madarami's pupils. I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Yeah, I think he ha he like <laughs> he murdered him. I think he's like um teaching it like uh, instructing his his pupils to paint stuff and then he takes credit for what they paint. And he could be it could be like a sweatshop type thing. <laughs> Where he's abusing the shit out of them. Oh, oh is this the main hall? Hello. Some sort of brochure. Um. Hope it's darker than this. We're here to investigate, so we should check out everything that catches our attention. Aww. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too uh, detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guy down here. Let's take a look at this. Oh, yeah. oh it's a map. Okay. Nice. Not even show us the location of the treasure. That's a possibility. At the very least, this should be a good reference for the scale of the place. The map only shows half of the museum. Let me see. It says one out of two. <sighs> so the two out of two's got to be around here somewhere, right? How big is this place? We can't worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is confirming Madarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty sketched to me. <laughs> All right. Treasure what? chest spotted. Yeah. Let's open. Oh. That's okay. We got lots of lockpicks. Lunar cutlass. Mm. Oh. It looks just my size. Okay, go ahead. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell? What am I looking at? He gets sort yeah, Morgana got the cutlass to use when we battle. This is weird. He fights too yes, he Joker. fights. Let's check it okay, fine. <laughs> Sorry. Do I have to inspect this closely? Okay. Ah. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Okay. Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it. What a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? 
He's got no reason to cover this up. He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still. When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. Oh, sorry. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous renowned artist, huh? Uh, smi no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Smite's definitely not my thing. <laughs> I don't like PvP to begin with. <laughs> um, I prefer single player co op games, and the only like exceptions to that rule I have right now are Overwatch and Fortnite, and even then, I don't play those often. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. If they are bad, it becomes a PvP. I don't know what you- I don't know what you mean. <laughs> um... But yeah, I'm not sure. It's just, uh, I usually have to have, like, a super invested story in the game. Or something that lets me, uh, be creative. <laughs> this is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Mm. Uh, the reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kita uh, Kitagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem. What do you mean? Something wrong? I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that's that part's totally different from what happened with Kamashida. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stop stepping in? Yes! <laughs> is it murder? No, no. Uh, apparently he's- we, well, we don't know, actually. <laughs> There's no confirmed murdering, but um, apparently he's abusing his, his pupils in some form or another. Well, you got a point. No! <laughs> if we just leave him be, he's gonna cause issues. <laughs> so we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame's worth going after or not? Oh, hello, Ryan. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. I don't know, if it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Let's see how Yusuke feels. Good, 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 I'm glad. Yeah, I guess I could talk to some... Uh, oh, gosh. I guess we could talk some more after that. <laughs> sapiens, sapiens. Double human? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he is double human. <laughs> okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Hey. Another box came for you. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Prove thine humanity. <laughs> Alright, um... Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
heckin'. This is where we'll work on kindness again. Oh, geez, fine. <laughs> Making me go to bed. <laughs> My internet dying? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> internet, be nice! Okay, Streamlabs seems to be okay. Biz -biz yes, that was my, my controller on the desk, sorry. <laughs> Alright, I, con I contacted Kitagawa kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Can you hear you? Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Uh, cover yourself in paint. There's no reception. <laughs> Just be yourself. It's actually kind of hard. Look, you don't gotta go out, go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame, remember? No cover. <laughs> that is true. I sound like Kitagawa-kun wants to- wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. I can rebels texting in school. Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Madarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seem different about her to you? Um... Did she cut her bangs? <laughs> oh, nice eye! <laughs> I didn't cut them. Huh. Well, let's get going. Oh, I see. Yeah, they can come, kind of come out of nowhere. Um, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> they can just kind of pop up and stuff. We gotta talk to Yusuke. And in my case, it's kind of weird because it's like both seeing and not seeing something. Like, super bizarre. I don't know how to describe it. It's not like they're transparent. It's like. It's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> Kitagawa kun seemed really happy when I agreed yeah, to be like, his model. Yeah, like you, you. It's so hard to explain. It's like you're both seeing something, but you also know it's not there, so it's not. It's so hard to explain. <laughs> and you don't have the attention on. Uh, well, it's like it doesn't seem like it's a solid, real thing. At least for me, I know some people have way stronger um, hallucinations that they seem very solid and very, very real. Um, but yeah, it's like they flicker in and out of existence. It's weird. I don't know. It, it, I can't think of anything to describe it in the way that I experience it. <laughs> Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. But yeah, I tried to be open about it because there's so much misconception. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. <laughs> Jeez, Yusuke. Wouldn't you get nervous, too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? <laughs> Jeez, Ryuji. Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. 
Well then, let's get started. Is she gonna face away? <laughs> supposed to know this was gonna happen let's wait for him to finish wait till he's done yeah what an effing pain in the ass yeah. perhaps i should try going outside this room why you don't like her leggings they're just red leggings <laughs> who do you think you're talking to i'm not a, oh like the color red doesn't this really vibe well. I mean, so I'm not, I don't know. I just, red is just not one of my favorite colors. <laughs> Too much color. <laughs> it's weird how flashy that door is. Peacock? And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. And what could be in there? What? Okay, I don't know why it didn't like that sentence. <laughs> you don't like colored pants. Uh. <laughs> I like I like bright stuff. Are you done? It's no good. Okay. What? It's our synonym <laughs> for trousers, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? <laughs> I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... Hold it! I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. <laughs> no murder. No. Just an asshole. Well, I mean, murderers are assholes too, but. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering. Oh, hey, look, one of my friends right is playing now. Smite. <laughs> Dude, still. Oh, well, bless you. Did you guys hear my cat's knees? So that was so cute. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> no. <laughs> I tried Smite uh, a long time ago. I had a friend that was very insistent. He was like, you gotcha. And it's just, it's just not my thing. <laughs> Kill the mosquitoes. Murder them. Murder the mosquitoes. Itago Akun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with Eat mosquitoes? That doesn't seem healthy. Master. There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. Uh. I just get back my own life. Yeah, but they could be carrying diseases and stuff. And other people. I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Can you sue someone for that? Hold it! We're not done talking here! 
Carry <laughs> more diseases. Oh my goodness. <laughs> then you leave me with no choice. <laughs> oh no. Hey. I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. Um... However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me... What? <laughs> I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! Oh my... <laughs> no! What? <laughs> no! Nude? Ah, <sighs> uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Okay. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. Okay, she's underage. To sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. Okay. Okay. Ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Uh, kick his ass? I don't know. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. This is... I don't... Don't give up so easily! I don't like this! <laughs> Yusuke is fucked up! <laughs> I don't like this! Hmm? <laughs> is she done being a model? A cat? Uh... You moron! <laughs> <laughs> He's totally out of his mind! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! How dare that Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not going to be semi, but full-on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna... Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? Oh my gosh. I am not! <laughs> Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. I love dogs. I have a pet dog. I absolutely adore dogs. Dogs are best. Well, I love cats too, but we have two cats and a dog. But, um, I, I have a very, very special- oh gosh, what breed this is? Okay, so he has six known breeds in him. And then, like, 35% they couldn't identify, because we got a DNA test for him, because he, he's bizarre. <laughs> so he has Australian Shepherd, Cocker Spaniel, Shiba Inu, Boxer, Pitbull, and Border Collie. Uh, let me see if I can get him to, uh, to say hello. Hang on. Let me see if I can get him to say hello. <laughs> yeah, he, oh my gosh, my hair is a disaster. Ignore, ignore. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me see. Hi! He's under my desk. Come here, come see, hi! <gasps> hang on, let me take your butt out so he doesn't kill- No, 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 no! Big jump, big jump! There, oh gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there he is. He- Oh my gosh, as I break everything. He's 35 pounds of love. 
<laughs> the mystery is calling him. This is Noctis. His hair is usually uh, a lot longer than this. He's usually a very floofy boy. But he got a haircut um, uh, in the beginning of September. So. The floof is coming back. Love him. Yes, me too. Mwah. I love him so much. He's a good boy. Noctis, yes. <laughs> Look how cute. Mwah. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yes, he's very spoiled. And he is my son. And I love him. <laughs> Ooh, I stinky breath right now, though. <laughs> he's a good boy, though. He's a heckin' good boy. Yes. Okay, you're gonna have to get down. Amen. Oh jeez, don't land- <laughs> He almost landed on the cat. Let me see if I can get a cat to say hi. Psycho! Psycho! He ran out of the room. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to say hi anymore. <laughs> It's morning there. Oh no, it's actually four in the afternoon here. Um, it's just really bright out today. Um, the sun sets in that direction, so it's shining straight uh, over here. It's night where you are. Oh my goodness. Like in night time. Psycho! 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 Come here, baby bean. No, he doesn't want to talk. We have two cats. Um, Oh, he's on the- he's on the bed. <laughs> Psycho! 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 Come here! He's like, no! And <laughs> Gatos? <laughs> yes. Psycho! Oh, there's Loki. He's gonna jump up on the windowsill. There he goes. <laughs> yes. My babies. My sons! I'm the only girl in the house. <laughs> Yes, those are my children. Oh my goodness. They are good babies. I love. I heckin' love. <laughs> These are my children, okay? <laughs> they might not be human, but they're my children! <laughs> uh, let's see. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? <laughs> no. I don't- I don't really want kids. <laughs> With my disorder, I don't think it would be responsible. Um, because yeah, I, I have trouble enough taking care of myself. <laughs> taking care of kids would be a whole, whole other issue. You <laughs> teach them tricks! <laughs> my pet's no tricks, and it's good enough for me. <laughs> Money from them- oh no, are you Madarame? <laughs> Frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target <laughs> we've been waiting no. for. <laughs> Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. What do you mean, like a we oh. need to look into Matarame first. Like victims, I guess. Oh. Who's under my desk? It's Psycho! Let me see if I can get him to come up here. Hang on. Psycho! You wanna come say hi? Hang on, I show. I show the kitty. I show the kitty. He's kinda tiny. He's only a year old. Hi. <laughs> Is the kitty? This is Psycho. <laughs> he's a little black boy. He's a little void boy. He's very cute. He's very psychotic. He lives up to his name. <laughs> what breed of dog is this? This is void breed. Void boy breed. <laughs> he's so sweet though. He's purring right now. <laughs> he's a sweet baby. But he's very playful and he's eyeing my earbuds right now. He's like, I would like to steal. No! <laughs> he tries to steal. <laughs> yeah, look at him, watch. <laughs> he loves earbuds. 
he likes eating them, so I have to try and keep them away. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to show off my, my other son, my youngest. <laughs> my youngest son. Oh no! Okay, there she goes. She wasn't talking. My little avatar. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Put them down on the, on the floor. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? <laughs> the way he talks. Uh, probably. Hey, hey, no way. My headphones. Hell no. <laughs> we must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Your hideout has moved from Shujin Academy rooftop to Shibuya Taiku building access way. Okay. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Hi. Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? <laughs> Ryuji knows? I... Uh... I don't want to say we don't care about art, but at the same... Fuck it, Ryuji, throwing you under the bus. Me? <laughs> I don't know nothing! I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. Oh, she's a journalist. I'm a journalist. Ah. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. <laughs> Her haircut's kind of a disaster. I guess we should go home. Journalist, today. ew! I was a wannabe journalist. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, whatever, I still can't forgive him. Depending on that lady- uh, Oh, demanding to paint lady on nude and claiming to report us to the police. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? Oh, hey Mishima. I have some interesting news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Oh! Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Oh. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. Pretty sure that if he offered money she would <laughs> No, I don't think so, because she she seems pretty like, if you saw the whole arc with Kamashita, <laughs> you would know. <laughs> She's not about that. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's Madarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Oh, jeez. I found out something insane about Madarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame stealing his work. Oh! Is it true? That journalist was looking into Madarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if uh, Kitagawa-kun has heard anything. It would be great if he could help us out. 
Ain't that asking a bit much? After day, today, he's probably gonna be on edge about this. Well, anyway, Madarame is still a piece of crap. <laughs> Let's meet up. Oh, sorry, hiccups. Let's meet up tomorrow. I'll be. Uh, it'll be our first time at the new hideout. Is that pass? Uh, it's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Okay. Well, I'm gonna save and wait out. We've been going for heckin'. <laughs> We've been going for over three hours. <laughs> so. Assume he's a murderer? I mean, he didn't technically kill that student, but his actions led to that student committing suicide. I mean, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Um. But yeah, so I am going to raid out for today. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> Um, tomorrow I will be live at 11 a.m. Mountain Time U.S. Um, because I have a do an eye appointment at 3, so I have to get on nice and early. <laughs> right in the Italian stream? I don't know any. <laughs> um, let me see here. Actually, hang on a second. I'm just gonna check. Um. Uh, that was at 320. Oh, that was a long time ago. Okay, who needs... Who needs a little bit of helpy help with some stuff? Um, let's go help uh, Roots. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, they're playing Minecraft. So we're gonna go hacking invade them oh did you try to post the link <laughs> sorry I don't I don't allow linky links <laughs> um but I have uh I have this boy here that we're gonna go help support um they're playing minecraft some nice cozy vibes um but yeah I'll be live tomorrow around 11 a.m but I have to be off uh uh, at least by two, like at the absolute latest, because I have an eye appointment. I'm gonna get myself some new glasses. I haven't had new glasses in three years. So let's see how fucking horribly my uh, prescription for my eyes have changed. I'm practically blind, so. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. <laughs> you can see me. <laughs> uh, my ears. And heck and good stream today. We got in we got deep today. We got deep. <laughs> yes, have a good night, Bingo. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.